Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. I wanted to address a specific question today that I get asked sometimes. It's a basic question, and I'd like every trader and investor to know the answer, or at least have a basic idea, which is who or what controls the stock market, right? I mean, uh, is it retail traders? Is it Reddit traders, right? Uh, or is it somebody else? Uh, you ever notice that sometimes all four of the major market market uh, indexes, the S&P, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the Russell, will all quickly move up at the same time or quickly move down at the same time. And if there's a news item going on, I could see why that would happen. But sometimes it happens for no discernible reason. There will be no news catalyst to make it happen. Uh, like for example, as I'm uh, filming this or recording this video, the stock market started down quite a bit and then in the morning it just shot up <laughs> and there was no sudden good news or anything like that uh, and this is the S&P 500 going up a lot really quickly uh, so reddit traders uh, they have some power to control maybe one stock especially if it's a cheaper stock like you know how GameStop and AMC stock used to be like five dollars yeah, maybe if a bunch of people on Reddit all get together and decide to all buy that stock at once, they can move it for a day or a week or a month, uh, possibly. Uh, but the whole stock market, or like the S&P 500, which is 500 mega cap stocks, I don't think they have the power to control <laughs> that. And when all four of the major market indexes go up at the same time, including the 2000 stock Russell index, yeah, that's not Reddit traders doing that, I'm pretty sure, okay? Uh, so when the markets all move at the same time and for no discernible reason, there's no news causing that to happen, uh, that's institutional size investors, hedge funds, that kind of thing, all right? Remember, there are uh, funds that control uh, not just millions of dollars, but billions and billions of dollars. We're talking about pension funds, retirement funds, huge, huge amounts of money being controlled all at once. And if one or a few of them all get together and decide to do that, or even if they don't get together, if they all just do it independently at the same time, uh, that can move the stock market very quickly. Uh, and if you want some uh, evidence that this is really the case, uh, this just came out today. The wealthiest 10% of Americans own a record 89% of all U.S. stocks. And, you know, I don't want you to think of the wealthiest 10% of Americans as really just individuals. These are pools or collectives of people uh, getting together. All right. So these are institutional sized investors here. All right. This isn't just. Elon Musk and uh, you know Mark Zuckerberg, that kind of thing. It's beyond that, as powerful as those individuals are. Uh, so it's almost nine tenth of all stocks uh, being moved by a few people and the institutions that they own and control. Uh, and so if you think it's Robin Hood traders, if you think it's Reddit traders, uh, no, it's it's definitely not. Uh, in fact, uh, it says right here, uh, at least according to this article that the army of new investors may be numerous, uh, but they're really small, with the average size account at Robinhood being around $4,500. All right, so that's not enough uh, to move the stock market, the entire stock market, okay? Maybe they can move uh, a, you know, a, a tiny company, okay? Like a penny stock type of thing. At one time, uh, they were able to control GameStop and AMC stock, that kind of thing, back when they were like $5 a share, but they can't move the entire stock market all at once, all right? And so who are these big funds? Uh, well, we have a, a list here, and you'll see some familiar names, BlackRock, Vanguard, UBS, Fidelity, State Street, uh, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, you get the idea, right? These are huge, huge banks. And so these are the whales, really. Uh, so it's not some big mystery. Uh, you can find out pretty easily who's moving the money in general. And again, if uh, these funds control billions and billions of dollars worth of people's retirement accounts, pension funds, uh, a lot of people have their money managed by banks. They, they're not like you and me. 
uh, taking control of their own finances. They just hand over their life savings to you know Vanguard or BlackRock or whatever, Fidelity, somebody like that, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Uh, so they're controlling massive amounts of money and if one or a few of them all at the same time decide we're gonna uh, you know, move the market up, we're all gonna buy or we're gonna move it down, we're gonna take profits, we're gonna sell, then that's why and how this can happen. So I just want you to understand that. And so, uh, yeah, don't think that uh, small accounts are really moving the markets in a big way. They, move, they may move individual stocks for brief periods of time, but that's kind of it. They're, they're a factor, all right? And if you're a trader, you want to be aware, sure, of what Reddit traders are doing, Robinhood traders are doing, and their influence might grow over time. Uh, but for right now, it's all about the whales, mostly, 90% of it almost, all right? So I hope this gave you a greater understanding, um, and uh, I'm going to keep on bringing you these concepts to help you become a better trader or investor. So thank you for watching and listening. I will talk to you again soon.